Hey everybody, it's Rachel Key back another reading, and this is going to be a Margaret Robbie. Is it Robbie? Margaret Rock Robbie. Oh, I love for those who don't know who that is, and I kind of didn't really know who that was, bitch. <laughs> okay, because I heard she was in the, the what's it called? Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio was it the Great Gatsby movie, and also she is Harley Quinn. Okay, she plays Harley Quinn in Suicide Squad, even uh, what's called Birds Don't Sing or something about Bird being in the cage trying to sing it out, bitch, whatever it's called. She was in that movie too. Well, of course, she stars as Harley Quinn. She was also in that movie with Will Smith. What movie was that, bitch? It was with Will Smith. Girl, I forget what movie that was. I, that just reminded me. She was, she was in a movie with Will Smith. Yeah. She's a cancer, if I'm not mistaken. She's a cancer, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So let's see. How is she doing? Let's see how she's doing. Okay, so I have the Magician in reverse, the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Wands in reverse, the Death card in reverse. Okay, so Pentacles are coins, depending on which turtle you have, represents the Earth sign and Zodiac sign and how grounded we are. And then we have Wands, representing the Fire sign and Zodiac sign and how passionate we are. I'm going to say this. It seems like nobody's really, I want to say, paying or giving her what she feels as though she's really worth, if that makes sense. It seems like people come with being nice, come with the mask on as if they're offering her something that's just so amazing, but it's kind of like... This is more beneficial towards you than it is towards me. I feel as though she takes her acting very seriously. She's, it's like every time she comes out and she does something, it's like she feels as though she's reproving herself again. Like I can play these roles. I'm proving myself over time and time again on different roles I can play. I can play a dance on distress. I can play um, someone who... It has mental issues a little crazy because, you know, Harley Quinn, she just, some, something really be off about her. But I fucks with her. I fucks with her. And Poison Ivy, I fucks with her too. But um, that's another story, bitch. Okay. <clears throat> it just seems like somebody's coming in and trying to manipulate the fact that, you know, we did this for you and here you go. We're offering you this and we get this for you. But it's just like smoke and mirrors. It's like blowing smoke of someone's asshole to make them feel as though it's something what it really is not. And it seems like she's not budging. She's not trying to move forward. I feel like when it comes to contracts and negotiations, it seems like people try to lowball them and not pay what they're worth. I hear all the time about women in the, um, especially actress actresses not getting paid what you know quote unquote what they're worth the men getting paid more than the women and sometimes it could be the minorities not getting paid as much as the non-minorities so whatever this is that's going on mamas isn't budging and it seems like she's damn sure isn't going to walk away from something especially if it's not settled on where are we going from here? It just seems very unsure of like, okay, where are we going from here? And I feel as though when you put your foot down with certain people, it's always uh, a woe me. Oh my God, I can't believe, you know, she's difficult to work with because she, and it, oh, so I'm difficult to work with because I will not let you fuck me over. I'm difficult to work with because I didn't take the low ball what you try to give me. 
And it's like she knows. I feel as though people expect for someone to be pretty like her to not be educated. I feel as though they're hoping, oh, she's probably just all looks and no brains. Well, maybe she probably has a little bitty brains. I'm not sure. But what she shows them, how smart she is and how intelligent she is and how she knows the game, they're kind of like, oh, damn, she's one of those. It's like they lose attraction towards her because she is like that. But she's no fool. She understands and she sees. She sees, She understands she sees BS. She's, she's not going to sit there and pretend as if I'm just going to go along with this just because I want to see this, that, and the third. Like, you know how sometimes a person can play dumb for so long and they're just going to play dumb just to go along with just to see how far they're going to actually get or how you truly, truly are and feel. She's not doing that. She's, uh, she's not doing that. And I see her trying to you know, not really want to talk to the middleman. I want to talk to the main. And it seems like it just seems like I wonder hmm, I keep on having a feeling about somebody being a narcissist. Sweetie, let me tell you something. Somebody, mm -mm. well, I would just let her know she should, you know, talk to her team, reevaluate certain things. Because if a person's trying to bully her or trying to make her feel uncomfortable, and I feel like a lot of actresses don't really come out for it, letting them know, like the director or the producer, you know, they made me feel some type of way, they made me feel uncomfortable. They made me feel they made me feel hopeless. It's like they stripped me from everything. They made me feel hopeless. Like I couldn't stand up for myself or say anything about what's being done, about what's wrong and what's right. And sometimes it could be damn if I do, damn if I don't. Or if I'm seeing and I'm witnessing something being done and I feel as though it's morally wrong. Should I or should I not say? You know, sometimes some actresses, they will stand up for each other. And sometimes some actresses, they don't really want to say anything because they don't want no consequences or harsh, anything harsh happening to them too. Because, bitch. <laughs> okay, so what's going on with her career-wise? What's going on with Margaret career-wise? Who is that calling me? Oh, baby, you have to wait. Who is? <laughs> Mental conflict in reverse. Finance and material change in reverse. Balance is in reverse. Authority is in reverse. She got spiritual strength, hope, love beings, power in reverse. In the back of the deck, patience and planning, foundation, achievement. Okay, I'm going to say this. Career-wise, I feel as though, yeah, it could be a money issue. Her feeling as though she's not getting her flowers because she feels as though she has done so much. And she's so versatile. Like, I could pretty much play anything. How come nobody's really recognizing my greatness? How come nobody's really recognizing how... Because I heard that when she did her accent for Harley Quinn, a lot of people say it's really difficult to, you know, being able to... And they say in a lot of... Like, it was on YouTube about some people who are professional speech therapists or whatever the case may be. Um, was it on Vanity Fair type of shit or Cosmopolitan type of shit YouTube channel, bitch? But it's usually people who are, you know, that's their career, their profession, and they critique people who are in movies or TV shows that do certain things that's in their field. So when a guy was like, oh, she actually did good. The accent, it was actually good through the whole, after, through all the way after the movie. They said it was actually good. And also, 
you gotta be really, really dedicated. Cause you know, sometimes with people you see in the movies, sometimes that accent tend to, you know, fall off, bitch. It'd be like, ah, that 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 didn't sound like that, baby. Uh -uh, like that Martin Luther King movie, I heard that accent slip up a couple of times. I heard the real voice come in through some time. I said, ooh. But overall, he did a great job. But I'm just saying. Um, with her, it just seems like there's no, like the authority is not really the authority. It just seems like nobody really has a backbone. It could really be just one, one or three people but it could be like the main person. You know, sometimes when everybody else around, they notice and they see it, but they really don't say nothing because they're scared of that one person because that one person has a lot of power, a lot of pull in the industry. So people pretty much kind of like sweep stuff under the rug or they be quiet. Who is this that they are scared of? By the end of the day, she does find the strength and it's just, it just seems like she gathers up this, all the strength that she has to continue to press forward and try to move to a, a better place and try to, because I really don't know if it really has her back, but it seems like the pressure or whatever this is, is pretty much weighing down on her and she's trying to find the strength to continue to hold her head up high. But at the same time, it's like, I love what I do, but sometimes I feel powerless. I feel like I can't really do certain things that I want to do. Y'all try to put me in a box. I broke out of that, but it seems like it's never good enough. That's depressing. That is depressing. Patience and planning. Yeah, hard chocolate. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to find a bright side. I'm trying to find a bright side, bitch. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's, at least she has, you know, people like family or people who she consider as family that she could, you know, rely on. But at the same time, it just seems like she, everybody that's in this industry, whether it's music or acting, whatever career wise, they're all trying to make sure that they have a sturdy foundation. Like, especially when they want to have children or when a children come to play, a lot of them don't want to have children right now in their career because they feel as though if I have kids, I might miss out on so many opportunities that I could have had taken if before I even consider to have children. I want to make sure that I do what everything that I know I possibly can do. Make sure that my, make sure, because tell nobody, everybody likes having security. But I tell you this, I feel as though her heart may get her to certain places, but it also might lead her to disappointment in certain people. If that makes sense. If you have a beautiful heart and you have a beautiful soul, as a person, sometimes it may lead you into heartbreak and heartache. Like, when I think about Selena, very beautiful. But however, when you're beautiful and you have a big heart like that, there are people like that fat bitch. Okay? She looked just like that fucking, what, was that a snail on Monsters, Inc.? And she had the little gray hair on top, and she had that smoker voice sound. That's exactly what that fat bitch looked like. Ooh, I can't stand that hoe. I hope, ooh. Anyways, I can't stand that bitch. Like, girl, you fat. And they gonna try to lie. Uh, I quit for Selena. She was trying to keep me. Girl, ain't nobody kissing your fat ass ass, bitch. Girl, fuck you. You know what? Let me not get mad. Ooh. 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 Let me not get mad, cause bitch, that ooh, that fat ass hoe. I can't stand a fat bitch like that. A miserable fat bitch with no ankles. I can't stand hoes like that. Anyways, how dare she? She sat there and lie and put lipstick on. First of all, the bitch ain't got no lips. Girl, I can't stand a fat bitch with no lips that look like her. She's disgusting. Oh, Selena begged for me. She. I even got a lot. Bitch, ain't nobody get on their motherfucking knees for you, bitch. And if you did get on your motherfucking knees, bitch, how was you able to get up so fast, bitch? You know what? See, just lying like that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 
I'm from Texas. If you know, if you're from Texas, you know how big and how important Selena was to the motherfucking. Anyways, ooh. But when, when you have a big heart like that, a lot of people that are very low vibration, they try to latch on to you because they see that light that you have and they try to come around that light and a lot of them don't mean no good. But she has that crown chakra so she knows. She understands. Sometimes you got to keep people at a distance. Ooh, I'm gonna go off on like I'm gonna go off like that, but Selena, that was my bitch. Fuck out of here. Mm -mm. I mean, even though you know it happened before, it don't matter, bitch. It don't matter. I don't give a fuck. That was before your time. So how was you really in kitchen? It don't matter, bitch. It don't matter. Okay, because every time my birthday come around, she she pops up. Ho. Okay, and on top of that, let me see what's going on with Margaret. Mar Mar, is it? I hope I was pronouncing her name right. <laughs> it's Margaret, right? Or Mar Marga, Margaret, Margaret. I would call her Margaret, and I, I feel like she ain't got nothing but one R in her name. And I feel like I just added on, like, bitch, whatever. Anyways, let's see. <laughs> I hope I'm not pronouncing. Because <laughs> that, because Margaret, that's that's a that's an old name, baby. That's a. <laughs> Anyway, let's go. Let's go on to her romantically, romantic wise. Let's go. Make an effort, getting to know each other, unquitted love, letting go of control issues, religion factor. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Okay, I see you. Okay. I wonder who it is. Who is this mystery man? Because it seems like I, I keep on hearing, I'm going off a limb here. I'm giving this a chance. So. Girl, you know, cancer women, girl, they, when they love you, they love you. Can't nobody ever say nothing bad about you around them. When they really fuck with you, can't, they can't say that. Because they will argue you down, bitch. I know it. Okay? <laughs> so, yeah. They will argue you down. But the flip side of a cancer woman that's, that I don't like is... How can I say this? Sometimes they can be blinded by the love they have for you. If that makes sense. They will actually help you get out of whatever bad situation that you're in, knowing that it's gonna tire them out or do whatever to them, mentally and physically. If they really fuck with you, they'll put that to the side. And one thing about canceling, I just really don't like how they do that. Especially with people who don't deserve it. Like, bitch, y'all really, it, if they really fuck with you, it pretty much cancels somewhat of the bad. Now, don't get me wrong. They, they can be very no-nonsense. Once they through with you, bitch, it, it's hard to get back in their good graces. I don't ever think get back in their good graces once they feel like, no. It's, it's a done dial. But also with cancer women, they do tend to be very loving, very nurturing, very caring. But sometimes they can come off as a mom. They can come off more as a mother than um, a partner. If that makes sense. Because some of the cares, some cares for women tend to do that. Some of them really tend to do that. And there are some cares women that will stay in a relationship. Uh, cause, because it's just a lot. Some of them will stay in a relationship. Especially if, 
especially if it is if it's shit it really be shit sometimes it's like god damn bitch why don't you just get the fuck and get out but once they put their heart and everything involved it's really hard for them to disconnect that's just one of the bad things that's out that about cancer because trust me if i used to fuck with a cancer you know what now when i think about it every person that i was cool with that was a cancer i am no longer friends with them i just realized that shit because sometimes a cancer person, they can really be persuaded. If they already have a thought that you are like that and someone tells them something, they're like, okay, and they'll keep the, and then once someone else says something and it clicks with them, it's kind of like, okay, I knew I'm not crazy. I knew I felt that way. They would kind of uh, distance themselves from you. They do that too, baby. They, mm. But right now for what I see with her, let go of control issues. I see with these niggas, you gotta be comfortable being with a pretty girl like that, a bad bitch, okay? You gotta be confident being with them. But also, cancer women can be very possessive. They can be very needy. They they want to be underneath you twenty four fucking seven, especially if they really fuck with you, bitch. I'm just saying, <laughs> they they want to be underneath you. Okay, you can make any excuse, bro. I'm broke. I'll pay. God, you gonna be okay? You say it's gonna pay, okay? Big bank, take little bank. But her love life, it seems like it's going good. It's just that that controlling part kind of bothers me because she's already felt like she was put in a box. I don't want her leaving and going back into another one. But yeah, it seems like it's good or whatever. Or if, you know... But I just feel like unacquitted love. Yeah, this could be just <laughs> everybody need that itch that need to be scratched, okay? <laughs> you know what that means. I've been saying that in other videos, baby. It just seems like everybody just need that little scratch to be itch. We this not, you know, we get to know each other. We gonna see if we can be friends or not be friends. You know, as a matter of fact, this not what it is. It's not that serious. So how about we just keep it like this? But let me tell y'all something. Uh, I hope I pronounce her name. No, Miss, Mrs. Robbie. Girl, let me tell you something. Be careful. Because with that romance cards that I pull out, bitch, it seems like somebody more into somebody. And it seems like that person going to step away. Yeah, we're not together, but don't get the trip and act. Okay, let me see this. If he's like that towards you or she, I don't, baby, I don't know what you do. If that person's like that towards you... And y'all just talking, y'all not together. And every time they see you take a picture of somebody or they see you talk to somebody, they get a little attitude, bitch. You want to show their motherfucking ass, bitch. You leave their asses where they stand. Oh, no, no, no. We got to be friends because I see how you like to act. You don't know how to act right. Or vice versa. If it's you, control yourself. Control. I want to say control your pussy, but girl, do whatever you want to do with that pussy. If you want, whatever, do, do what you want to do with your cat. But I'm just saying, control yourself. You can't get mad if y'all didn't have that conversation to where y'all say, you know what, we're going to be exclusive. We're going to be monogamous. If that conversation was ahead, bitch, and y'all just feel each other's vibe, don't get mad when you see him out with somebody else, girl. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <clears throat> well, that's the end of this reading. Thanks for watching. And I wish her nothing but the best. I feel as though she's very talented. She should not be boxed in. She could pretty much, she already proved herself on what she can do acting wise. She proved that this is what she really wants. Some people don't want it more than others. And she proved that she really wants it more than others. So girl, you know, keep up the good work. Um, hopefully whatever she has that's about to come out, I hope it's successful. Uh, whatever movie she's working on, I feel as though it's going to be successful for her. And I feel like whatever big break that she's about to get, I feel like that will set the foundation of her being able to uh, start requesting for more, for more money. She just got to find those roles that's going to have her out there the way that she can demand more money. And I feel like she's getting close to that one role. Well... Thanks for watching.